That chicken must be lost. This is the jungle, not the farm. That snake in the tree looks as long as a car. Ugh, I'm glad we can't smell that moon rat. I heard he smells just like rotting onions. That chicken must be lost. This is the jungle, not the farm. Tiger. T I G E R. Tigers are one of the biggest cats in the world. Their dark stripes and orange fur make them hard to see in the shadows of the jungle floor. Tigers hunt alone at night, walking very quietly and crouching down so they can sneak up on tapers and other animals. When attacking an animal, tigers take one big leap and pull it down by grabbing its throat. A tiger can eat 55 pounds of food in one meal and will hide any leftovers. On hot days, tigers cool themselves by swimming in ponds and rivers. Jungle Fowl J-U-N-G-L-E-F-O-W-L Strutting around the jungle floor, these lanky birds look a lot like chickens. They're really jungle fowls, the ancestors of the chicken. Like the cock of the rock, the female's feathers are dull, while the male's feathers are bright and showy. To attract a female, the male performs an amazing dance where it bows down and flaps its wings. If another male tries to cut in on the dance, they fight with the sharp spurs on their feet. Moon rat. M. O. O. N. R. A. T. If a smell like rotten onions floats over the jungle floor, the moon rat is probably close by. These bad-smelling creatures spend their nights hunting for bugs, fish, crabs, and snails. They can also use their long nose to dig up tasty roots. The moon rat's only real enemies are snakes, which seem to enjoy eating moon rats in spite of their bad smell. Fungus. F U N G U S. Funguses are in a class by themselves because they are not animals and not plants. Molds found growing on bread, mildew growing in the bathroom, and mushrooms are all different types of fungus. Funguses cannot make their own food, so they grow on plants and animals to get food. Funguses grow best in warm, humid areas and are very common in jungles. Many types of fungus are useful, slowly changing the dead plants and animals that they live on into soil. Some funguses are bad because plants get sick when the fungus grows on them, or animals get sick when they eat the fungus. Naturalists know of more than 100,000 types of funguses, but at least twice as many types are still unknown. Weaver ant, W-E-A-V-E-R-A-N-T, or These unusual ants make their home in the understory by sewing up a leaf. First, an ant chooses a leaf and works to fold the leaf in half. Once the edges start to touch each other, more ants join in and hold the leaf's edges together. Baby ants spin out a silky thread which the parents use to sew up the leaf. 
Inside the sown leaf, the ants make a nest for as few as 12 or as many as 300 ants. After making the nest, they begin the important task of looking for bugs to eat. Weaver ants either grab the bugs with their big jaws or spray the bugs with poison. Tree hopper, T R E E H O P P E R. Even though these bugs eat tree sap right in front of their enemies, they are hardly ever noticed. Tree hoppers sit close together on a branch where their color and pointy shape make them look like part of the tree. Enemies glancing at them don't even notice them. Pitta. P-I-T-T-A This colorful bird prefers the safety of the night. Pittas feed at night, taking long, easy hops along the jungle floor as they look for food. They usually eat seeds, berries, bugs, and snails. When they catch a snail, the pitta throws the shell onto a stone to break it and quickly gobbles down the exposed snail. Even though they have a fat body and short tail, Pittas can fly away quickly if they're scared. If they need to escape an enemy, they can make a cry that sounds like it's coming from somewhere else. The enemy then walks toward where it thinks the Pitta's voice comes from, and the Pitta has time to fly away during the confusion. When? Seed. S. E. E. D. The. The beginning of a new plant is called a seed. Seeds come from mature trees and plants. Inside the hard seed cover is a baby plant and food to help the plant grow. Seeds travel by falling, sticking to animal fur, blowing with the wind, or floating on the water. Once they land on the ground, they can start to grow. If they get enough rain, food, and sun, they grow into a plant just like the one which made the seed. When the new plant is big enough, it will make its own seeds. Python, P-Y-T-H-O-N. Pythons and anacondas are the biggest snakes in the world. Some pythons have grown to be as long as 30 feet. In spite of their size, pythons are hard to see because their brown patched skin blends in with the colors of the jungle. Pythons hunt both during the day and at night, using the tip of their tongue to smell food. Once they catch a small animal, they squeeze the life out of it and then swallow it in one big piece. Anacondas. Anaconda. A-N-A-C-O-N-D-A. -A -A. Anacondas and pythons are the world's largest snakes. Anacondas can grow as long and thick as a telephone pole. These reptiles spend most of their lives in the river, floating just under the surface. Their eyes and nose grow high on their head, so the rest of their body can hide underwater as they sneak up on food. Wrapping their long body around a victim, anacondas squeeze it to death and then swallow it down in one big gulp. Anacondas will usually eat small animals such as birds, fish, and lizards. Some anacondas are so big that they can even swallow a whole caiman. After a big meal, they may not be hungry again for several months. Reptile. R-E-P-T-I-L-E. -E. Crocodiles, lizards, and snakes are all different types of reptiles. While most animals make their own body heat, reptiles need the sun to keep them warm and are often seen sunning themselves. A reptile's skin is waterproof, which comes in handy for reptiles like the anaconda that spend so much time in the water. Most reptiles protect themselves in one of two ways. Some, like the cobra, bushmaster, and gaboon viper, are poisonous, and animals stay away from them. Other reptiles, like the chameleon, iguana, and emerald tree boa, use their skin color to hide from enemies. <laughs>